June 7, 2014, about uh, one minute after the end of dental scaling and extraction, I've given antecedent 0.1 IM, 0.1 ml IM. You can see that this old dog is still still uh, sleeping. Now it's going to wake up soon. Antecedent reverses Domitor. Domitor was uh, given early on at 25% of the formula. Now the formula is for 10 kg young dog, Domitor is 0 0.4 ml, ketamine is 0 0.5 ml in one syringe, IV. Now for this 17 year old, I calculated according to his weight and then give 25% IV, just 25%, you can see this dog is really knocked out. And uh, there was a bit of isofluorine plus oxygen intubation, after intubation. And uh, now for 17 year old dog, the anesthetic risk is so high that uh, I really don't like to do this uh, anesthesia, but uh, in this case, he had this uh, carnasal tooth abscess and uh, so I gave one week of antibiotics or more than 10 days antibiotics plus, uh, plus uh, a, a, a bit of prednisolone and uh, make sure that this dental dental extraction and scaling to be done very efficiently and fast I mean as long as the dog is not on isofluorine gas he has a much better chance of survival. Now, I didn't give direct isofluorine gas because he had a painful mouth. So I did give 25% of the calculator formula of Domitor plus ketamine based on uh, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.4 Domitor plus 0.5 ml ketamine for a 10 kg young dog. So for this old dog, 17 years old, I calculated at 25% of his 6 kg weight and I make sure he had uh, glucose IV Hartman which he's still having and uh, afterwards I will give less 6 and it looks like good news is that he has uh, waken up waken up you can see he's uh, moving his head after the antecedent injection IM of 0.1 now that is good news because as long as the dog is awake, chances of him dying or having heart failure is very rare. You can see this advantage of Domitor plus ketamine. The Domitor can be reversed by antecedent and most of the time we don't use it for young dogs. We let, let them wait, uh, wake up naturally but uh, in this very old dog I use it and uh, as you can see Within five minutes of the antecedent injection, he is actually uh, conscious, eh? and uh, and that's what the owner wants: a, a dog alive at the end of surgery. There's no point having a, a dog dead at the end of surgery with perfect surgery. All dogs are like that. Either you do it or you don't do it. If you do it, you have to make sure that uh, he survives. And to do that, you have to give very minimum dose of uh, sedation. Preferably give isoflurane direct, but in this case, I, I give a 25% of the calculated Domitor plus ketamine. Now, never give 50% because this old obese, sometimes they just can't take, take it even at 50%. Although middle aged dogs can do it, can take it. I've done middle aged, the nine year old. Jack Russell plus Shetland cost that one I gave a uh, 50% and uh, without isoflurane anesthesia and it was sufficient to extract the carnassial tooth. What happened is I have three carnassial tooth uh, cases in the last one week which is quite unusual because normally I have zero for the last few weeks. So this morning I did one, uh, as you can see the other video the schnauzer was 11 years old and schnauzer was i gave 50 percent and uh, he needed isoflurane top up but uh, the schnauzer definitely looks stronger than this fellow anyway 
the schnauzer survived and has gone home to a happy owner and so I expect this one to be having good news as well as you can see he's uh, although he's blind or well, he has cataracts but he's alert and awake uh, the time is about uh, 2 p.m. so three cases of carnassial tooth abscesses very unusual for for Topaya vets now this case was done together with Dr. Daniel as a very old dog and this is here it's best to have two vets Topaya vets June 72014 kinase tooth abscess 17 year old Jack Russell Singapore